Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? Welcome. So it's actually great to see you guys. Welcome, everyone. So how was your day? Was good? Yeah, it was good. Excellent. Something interesting this day? Something interesting that you have experienced or you would like to talk about? No? Okay, so let's continue well with the classes. So welcome to everyone. I hope that you had a great time. I know it all because we are ready to, you know, maximize our skills and practice step-by-step -step different things related to the language. And uh, just really watch for first class, we'll continue like having a kind of feedback about some topics that we are sharing today. And um, that we, every time we will be like trying to learn things. So you have the freedom to ask questions and also talk, uh, sp speak, participate actively because it's something that we need to get. And okay, so, and before that we start the class because most of the students are joining, don't forget to have the camera on because it's important, as uh, so it was mentioned before in the meeting, in a, that it's necessary that you have the camera on because the insofar monitors the, the work we have right here and all, over all that all of the students have, you know, the camera on, they are actively working in the activities. So that's why it's a uh, prejudice that we take that into account. Okay, yesterday we were talking a little bit about different things. Uh, we had a conversation. We had a presentation, by the way, and also we were talking about uh, Bo Beth, if you remember. Um, we practiced a conversation about nationalities, like, where are you from? I'm from Salvador, from Mexico, etc. cetera. And uh, after that, Second, after that, we had the opportunity to socialize with a partner about some personal questions, like introducing yourself, like my name is William, but people can call me David. Where do you come from? I come from San Salvador. What do you do? I'm an English teacher. And I'm an interpreter. And um, how do you spell your last name? It's Garcia, G-A-R-C-I-A. -A. So we talk about, you know, some things. But we will continue also, uh, so part of the practice, we have a conversation here with all of us. And this conversation is between Beth and Suni He. So look at this one. It's, we're talking about Korea. So let me share with you something right now. We have this conversation and let's see what this conversation says. Son He, this is David Garza. He is a new club member from Mexico. Nice to meet you, David. I'm Sun He Park. Hi, so you're from Korea. That's right. I'm from Seoul. That's cool. What's Zeal's like? It's really nice. It's big and very exciting. So look, these important details about, you know, Seoul. So that is a very interesting city, uh, especially in South Korea. You know, you can see the introduction. He is a new club member from Mexico. And uh, also, nice to meet you. That is a good way to say gusto, conocerte, so nice to meet you and also a very formal uh, kind of conversation. We continue with the next. And also this is a kind of review for, for most of you because we have in a way started the, the following topic that is the statements with the V possessive adjectives. Look at this. Especially when we're talking about nationalities. Um, from Mexico, you're from Brazil. He's from Japan. She's a new club member. 
it's an exciting city where in the same class, they are my classmates. So we can see uh, that we're using contraction and we are uh, concentrated using these structures with the verb be um, as one of the things. Look at that one. And also we have the contractions of B as part of the review. Well, uh, what is the function of a contraction? Who wants to tell me? Do you remember what's the function of a contraction? ¿Se acuerdan cuál era la función de una contracción? Acortar palabras. Acortar palabras. Uh, do you listen to me? Mm, sí, yes. Yes? In this case, yes. es como... Como hacer nuestro algo. Con los possessive adjectives. Okay. Thank you. So, I'm sorry if there is a background because it's raining here. In my neighborhood, it's raining. So, because it's it has been so hot, the weather is, like, better today. Well, when we're talking about contractions, we're talking about a way to reduce or make a conversation faster using contractions. That, that's the main goal, to make a conversation faster and more active. Definitely that we use the main verbs and we made them short, or we contract the form of the verb to make it a conversation faster and also active. And most of the time, the contractions are used in conversation because the main purpose is that one, is the main purpose, and especially in Spanish, it's not possible. In Spanish, it's not possible to use contractions. So just in English. And also you need to know that are used, especially uh, for the verb be, and also for some modal verbs. Entonces, no son todos los, todas las palabras las que se hacen contracción, sino el verbo be y, la, y algunos modal verbs. Entonces, el objetivo de una contraction es hacer un, una conversación más fluida y más dinámica, más activa y, y más corta, por decirlo así. In comparison to Spanish, English is um, a, a little bit no explicative, but Spanish is totally different because in Spanish, we explain everything. We talk a lot, but English people are specific in a conversation, they're specific. So that's why contractions are very important. Entonces, vemos ahí eh, la forma contractada. Por ejemplo, digo contraction of be and I am, you are, you are, his, his, he is, she's, she's, she is, it's, it is, we are, we are, they are, they are. So you can see the difference about contractions. Instead of saying am a student, I am. So you can see uh, in a short way, am, I am. You're, you're, because you are using are. So you're is like saying you are. And his, she's, it's, we are. We are, like we're saying, we are, we are, they are, they are. So we can also check the contractions of the verb be. So we make the conversation like faster, like we are students. Um, his in Mexico, she's my classmate. So she is my classmate. So we can make the post in a conversation. Um, look at the possessive adjectives. Well, because uh, perhaps you haven't studied this one in a basic level. Uh, when do we use the possessive adjectives or what's the function of a possessive adjective? ¿Cuál es la función of a possessive adjective? Do you remember? 
Uh, do you remember about the function of a possessive adjective? ¿Se recuerdan cuál era la función de un possessive adjective? No. Es denotar tener posesión sobre algo. Yes, that's correct. So in that case, in English, it would be like to demonstrate possession um, about something specifically. You give this authority or you own something specifically. So when, as the word says, possessive. Possessive what? It's a possessivity. For example, and uh, Wendy said she has a name. Uh, Wendy said it's her name. Uh, she has the possession about the name. Nobody in the group can be called like Wendy said because she's the only one, unless that she finds someone who is called Wendy said, but she is the only one. Entonces, aquí solo hay una Wendy said en este grupo, right? What, what I can see on the list. Entonces, ella puede utilizar su nombre como un possessive because belongs to her. They're like, my name is Wendy. My name is mine. It's my possession. It's mine. You're giving you a authority or giving you a possession about something. Your car. You know, that's your car. Your school because you belong to this school. So you're talking about this possession. Um, his brother, talking about him, about he, his brother, or oh, her for ladies, for girl, for women, her sister, her class, her brother. It is a third person in singular. So in that case, we are saying like, it's for things and animals. Entonces, it's, la posición de it's es para su, de ello, para animales y cosas. It's housed, it's owned, it's bold, and so on. And then we have or, or teacher, or class, or students, or topic. So we're talking about a possession. And also we have there for the third person in plural, their house, their class, their communication skills. So we're using most of the time the possessive adjectives. Entonces, ¿cuál es la función de un possessive adjective? Demonstrate possession. Y por eso vemos el orden en español como que sería me, your sería tú, his sería su de él, her, su de ella, it's, su de ello, our, nuestro, para posición nuestra, nuestro, our, y luego tenemos their, que significa su de ellos. Entonces, vemos ahí eh, parte de la estructura. Um, as you know, this is a kind of backup, but because we're going to be working with some exercises. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta previa para pasar a, a los ejercicios. for a moment no okay because i think it's a backup but you yes tell me no nothing teacher okay that's okay right so i'm just gonna share right now the some exercises that can help us to remember all the, the well this topic so it's gonna be a kind of backup for you so look at this one. Let me go on to the next part. Okay, the first one is about the the personal personal pronouns here. Replace the personal pronouns with possessive adjectives. Tenemos where is y entre paréntesis está el pronombre. ¿Cuál sería el pronombre que relacione esa oración? My. My. It's my book. My book. Ah, okay. Where is my, my book? Where is my book? Okay, interesting, right? So, and well, so look at the next one. He, he is, we have teacher. She He's goes to school poor. with. So I will give Our you. teacher. Okay, I will give you a couple of, uh, a couple of minutes to check this teacher, statements. Teacher, se escucha, no se escucha bien. 
del, ¿se escucha, se escucha interferencia? Sí. Eh, yes, Todos lo escuchan igual, o se escucha así como interferencia. Este se escucha lo primero y después como que se queda mudito y de ahí lo último, como cortado. Ok, one second. Um, ¿Me escuchan ahora? Hoy sí. Hoy sí. Hola, hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes. 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 ¿Me escuchan? Hola, hola. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Hola, ¿me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. ¿Se escucha yes. igual? Yes. Te oye bastante mejor. Hola. Te oye un ruido, pero sí se le entiende. Ok, one second. No, quizás porque estaba lloviendo, maybe. I don't know. That could affect. Yes? Eso era. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. So, well, so we're going to like continue practicing. Eh, Le voy a dar minutitos para que lo completen eh, utilizando el, you know, possessive pronouns. And so we can also share the answers together. Let's go with that. Teacher. Yeah, tell me. En la tres, she goes to school with she, brother. Mm, it's a question or a doubt? What is that? Sí, es una pregunta. And no sé si no entiendo. Ah, sí, entendí. Sorry. Okay, don't worry about it.
Okay, almost ready? No yet? How do you feel? Yes. Perfect. So let's see here the following part. So I'm going to try to, you know, use the original one to chat. One moment, please. Much better right now. So you can see here as, as part of the feedback, because we have studied this before. So it's much better because I can tie there. Let's see. Well, so Catherine, you know, she has uh, completed some exercises. Very good, Catherine. I really appreciate it. So the first one is, where is... I'm sorry if I use capital letters because I need to highlight the possessive adjective. So what is the first one? Where is... My, my book. book. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you can see here. Okay, number two. Her, 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 here is... Our, our teacher. Our teacher. Our teacher, right? So we'll say, or the our teacher. So, our, oh. yes, or teacher. What about the next one? She goes to school with... Her brother. brother. Here. Yeah, talking about her. That's right. Yes. Her brother. Next one. They, the father works they, their father, father they, works in they, a car factory. Father. Exactly. Talking about them. So their father works in a car factory. Next one. You. You is very expensive. Okay. That's awesome. So we're talking about this possessive instead of you in singular your laptop is very expensive what about he his favorite hobby is tennis. okay okay his favorite hobby is tennis yes that's correct the next one is i my my that's uh perfect so you can see here this um example Look at this one. Uh, what about the next one? We want to see it. It. Okay. Look at this. Like this. It. Like this. Look at this. Hair. Like this hair dog. Yeah. Heard. Heard. Oh. Yeah, as you can see that. So Leila likes her dog. And it, last but not least. Its name is Bobby. His name is Bobby. Um could be an animal, could be an object, so we don't know, but could be. Okay. Look at that. All right, so you can see that it's uh, pretty simple. It's now so difficult, it's about practicing, especially in a conversation, we can also create um, also this context to use then in a real conversation. So we have uh, another exercise also that we're going to complete. But I want to ask you, do you have a question before we go on to the next slide or is clear? It's clear for me. Thank you. Okay, ask questions. Um, you have a freedom to do it. Eh, pues si tienen preguntas, háganlas, ya que es importante. Okay. Okay, look at the following uh, exercises. And um, it says that we replace the personal pronouns with possessive adjectives. Choose the right possessive adjective. For example, two students didn't do mathematics homework. 
I have a card. Um, and look at this one. Color is black. We have a dog. Name is Pancho. Nancy is from England. Husband is from Australia. And and Nadia go to high school. Little brother goes to a primary school. So what I want you to do is to take a short time to select and complete the statements using the appropriate possessive adjectives. Le ponen minutitos para que puedan completar este ejercicio y elijan el personal, el possessive adjective que más se acople al sujeto, en este caso sería al sujeto principal. La clave es identificar el sujeto. So if you identify the subject, it won't be any trouble that you can change uh, the person, the possessive adjective. So we can start now. Also, don't forget to have the, the camera on because it's important. Remember that um, Insafort is uh, monitoring that all of us, we have the cameras on and also you are actively uh, participating in the class. So congratulations to all of you for this one. Okay, continue and good luck.
Okay, are you ready to socialize the answers? Okay, almost ready? Yes? No? No. No yet. Okay, so we'll take a short time to, to do it. So, you know, you can do it. Look at this. Okay, so at this level is um, very practical. So you, you know that and it's uh, very interesting to practice this one in a real conversation. One of the best ways to use the depressional possessive, the possessive adjectives is by practicing. So check the structure, statement. So it's pretty easy. And um, you use them all the time to make a statement. So it's not going to be so hard to get it. And you go step by step on that one. Okay, let's um, see the answers. So you can help me with that. One second, one moment, please. Okay, okay, okay. One moment, please. Okay, look at the first one. Two students didn't do what? They. There. So you can also compare. Yeah. Um, yes. There. Mathematics homework. Okay, that's great. Number two, I have a card. Look at it's, this. Color is black. Color is black. It's color. Okay, next one. I have a dog. Its name, it's name is Pancho. Wow, it's a very interesting name for a dog. Do you like Pancho as a name for a dog? Do you like Pancho as a name for a dog? No. No, this is like <laughs> most common for a parrot because I have heard Pancho as a parrot. Como perico, right? A lot of pericos are called Panchos, right? Panchitos. Okay. Yeah, actually. <laughs> All right, so we see this one. Nancy and um, is for Ireland. Yeah. Er. Yes, Sarah. correct. So we also, I know that some some classmates have used the chat to share the answer, so we also can compare that together. So Anna and Nedia go to high school. Next. There. There. Mm -hmm. there. Okay. We are doing great here in the science. The next one, Alan has a band. It's... It's, it's. Mm, are you sure? Yes, yes, because we're talking about him, his possession. So his band is very old. So we're, because we're talking about his possession. Uh, okay. okay, look at the next one. Who wants to help me with the next one? Oh, our we go to a high school. Our high school is fantastic. Okay, so yeah, we're talking about you know their possession or well, our possession. 
Okay, and the next one, I like singing. My mother sings with me. My mother sings with me. Okay, all right. So, well, he's talking about his mother or her mother, we don't know. And Francu and Alain are French, what? Fancy. They family. They family. It's from France. So you're saying they're what? They're. This one? They're. Yeah, they're. like France. France. Like French. Halibou <laughs> France. Yeah. And the last one. Here. Yes. Mary likes her. her. Okay. Okay. So that's right. So we have completed this part of the Okay. Congratulations to everyone for the practice. So don't forget to you know try to practice this vocabulary because it's very useful. Okay. We continue with the with the topics that so we're going to share a different screen. One of the best ways to, you know, to practice is to interact with the environment and also uh, practice every day with vocabulary. People say that English is difficult, but it's a process. Obviously, it requires some time. It requires preparation. Well, so we'll continue working today with the rest of the class. And also, we will continue with the verb be because we have been discussing about the verb be. We have some uh, possible uh, WH questions with B. Basic information about this one. What's your name? Where are you from? Where do you live? What do you do? So et cetera about things. Okay, I need a volunteer for helping me to read the questions and the answers. Who wants to do it? So who wants to help me to read the questions and the statements and the answers? Yeah. Yes, yes. What's your name? My name's Beth. Where's your friend? He's in class. Who's son he? She's my classmate. What are your classmates like? They are very nice. Where are you and Luisa from? We are from Brazil. How are your classes? They are really interesting. Thank you so much. You can appreciate here, for example, in the questions we're using contractions like what's her name? What's, what's, worst, worst, who's, who's. Um, also for questions in my name is Beth, he's in class and she's. So we can see here that we're using contractions to ask questions and also responding in English. So that's uh, very interesting to take into account. So we are like trying to concentrate our effort to do our best. Well, in that case, we are going to complete these questions and then practice. You can see um, where's, who's, what are, what are, and how are. And talking about questions, por ejemplo, las famosas WA questions. What is, como, cuál es, where is, donde está, who is, who, para decir quién, en forma de pregunta, who is, quién es, o si es plural es who are, quiénes son. And then we have what are, where are you, and how are you? So what I want you to do is to read the following kind of conversation. And also I want you to complete these questions using the WH question. And um, that's what we had to do right now. I want you to take a short time to complete it. And then we're going to socialize with our classmates the following questions we have here. Así que les voy a dar momento para que lo puedan completar 
Y si tienen alguna duda sobre alguna palabra, pues me dicen para poder ayudarles. No se les olvide estar activos eh, y tener su cámara encendida porque hay estudiantes que no la están encendiendo y entonces es importante que lo puedan tomar en cuenta. Iniciamos. Okay, are you ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I will use the chat in that case. So the first one says, look at the first one and um, who's, well, who's that? Oh, that's the Miss West. Mm -hmm. And look at the number two. What do you have for number two? Where's? Where's? So where is? Yeah. Um, she's from Dubai. Miami. We're, we're talking about places. Okay. Number three. What? What is? Okay. 
What is her first name? Is Celia, right? Okay. Number four. Who are you? What are? What are? Who is? Hmm. <laughs> uh, she, uh, the two because we're talking about two students we're talking about plural Estamos yes. hablando plural entonces sería eh, exactly who are yes you are yeah who are who are who are it and number five where are what are where are they are from where are they from? They are from Vancouver in Canada. So they are Canadian. And uh, the number, the last one. Who are? Who are? are? How? Who are? What is that? Six. Yes. Who are? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Mm, that would be how are it? They like. ¿Cómo, cómo son ellos? So we're talking about they are child. What are? Where? What are they like? ¿Cómo son ellos, right? So also you can also use that one. Um, en este caso también podemos decir eh, how are they like como como son ellos like. uh -huh. yes. como el ejemplo de la oración arriba how are you, how are your classes uh -huh. they're really interesting uh -huh. that's right uh -huh. so they are child and also they're very friendly child in Spanish is like timidos child timidos uh -huh. are you child to speak with strange people? No? <laughs> no child. You, you like to talk, to interact with people. Okay, so that's good. We have to socialize with people. That's important. Okay, so let's check the next part of the class. Let's see, because we need to prioritize some other activities. Okay, following greetings. Greetings around the world. Look at this. I'm going to ask to Fiorella. Hi, Fiorella. Hi. Hi, can you read the greetings, please? Can you help me to read? Okay, uh, only the, the only, sorry, the United States and check or the, sorry. They complete the complete the slide the, the greetings. Uh, oh, okay. Which greetings are typical in your country? Yeah. And the greetings too. Los saludos también. Los que están ahí en de, los saludos. Okay. Sorry, um, puedo hablar en español. No. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, vaya. El ejercicio es con las preguntas. Tengo que dar la respuesta en las imágenes. Eh, no, solo léanos las 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 palabras, los saludos. Ah, okay, sorry. Um, a handshake. Ah, uh, wow. Ahora no sé cómo se pronuncia. Bow. Wow, a kiss on the check, a hug, a part of the back. Thank you. All right, that's okay. Thank you so much. So you can check here some greetings. We have greetings, saludos from around the world. Depending on the culture, there are some people that they greet others in their personal way. And um, so that's why you can appreciate a way of greetings. And also it's very interesting. Like we are, we have different ways of, to greet. For example, a handshake. This is in the United States. Do you greet people uh, with handshake? Saludan con handshake? Or not? Yes. 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 Okay. No. No. 
yeah in my case yes i, I agree i agree with people with um handshake because it's very formal uh -huh, um, yeah very formal yeah it's very formal but friends mm, no i have a different way mm -hmm. to greet nowadays well because of the pandemic was very famous the 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 people like touched you know with the with the fist right con el, con el puñito como decíamos no sé si se, se lo daba así por la pandemia ponía el puñito yeah. Yeah. that was a very common way to you know greet because of the pandemic you couldn't uh, you know handshakes because you could like be sick or something like that about it's uh, most of the time that that happens in Korea or Japan or also China because it's a very formal way to to re they don't touch they they both as a rev reverence Una reverencia. do you well I think that we we don't greet people like this in my ground creo que nadie saluda así right no no yeah yeah that's why I was thinking about it. A kiss on the cheek. Uh, do you greet people kissing on the cheek? Yes. Oh, family. My friends. My friends. My best friends. My circle. How do you say como mi círculo de amigos? My, my, cluster? my cluster? My cluster. Yeah. Sorry, my cluster. Yeah. Well, my close friends too. Okay. So that is important because that is the very close friends. No strange people. Okay, that's good. Um, what about a hug? Um, what do you think? Do you greet people giving a hug? Only family. Yeah, only family. Only family. Okay, that's only family. And no friends? Do you give a hug with friends? No. Only. Um, yeah, my friends. Okay. They're not all. Not a people. Only close friends. Okay. That's... Yes. That's very interesting because you're not going to give like giving a hug to someone that perhaps is not your friend. It's like, bueno, y por qué me, me anda abrazando, right? Es, sería así como extraño. Like the yeah. privacy of a person. So that's why you know the person. Okay, next, uh, a pat on the back. No. No. No, right? It's not common, a pat on the back. Does anybody do it, uh, gentlemen? Los okay. hombres veo que se saltan así, no me. Mira la gente mayor. Ajá, uh, yeah, como gran, grandfather, grandmothers. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, grandparents. They, this is normal for them. Okay, so because there are different ways to greet people, and also that could be one of the ways, by the way. So. Well, uh, before we conclude our class, because we, tomorrow we'll continue working with some important aspects about that one, we need to check the attendance list. So, uh, just give me a moment. Meanwhile, I look for the attendance list. And also, you know, practice. Do you watch the movies or series in English? Yes. Oh, nice. For the time, not, mm, no. No. Maybe only music. Only music. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, music in English is very, very nice. And, we, well, also with subtitles, because people sometimes they are watching a, a movie or a series and they place subtitles. And that's good because we learn new words. Um, are you trying to read a book in English? ¿Alguien está tratando de leer algún libro en inglés? No. No. Yo intenté, pero no, no lo logré. Okay. It's a process. Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, so, can work. Um, es importante, por ejemplo, si está um, alguna película... Con subtítulos ayuda muchísimo porque usted identifica la, las palabras, palabras que usted no conoce y la pronunciación. Y entonces eso ayuda también a, a maximizar el, el tiempo. Así que pues es una buena estrategia que le puede ayudar bastante y también se adapta al acento. Muy bien, vamos a pasar a la asistencia. Eh, Ana Isela Llanes. Present. Eh, Ana Ruth Pérez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores. David Alejandro Rodríguez. 
Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Eh, Diana Cristabel Meléndez. Diana Cristabel. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Fiorella Alejandra Crespín. Present. Gerardo José Tepas. Present. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Um, Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos. Present. Jorge Francisco López. Present. Eh, Juana Margarita Sea. Juana. No está acá. Ok, she's not. Um, Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine Suleima. Ok. Uh, Catherine um, Nicole Salazar. Uh, Kathy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present. Laura Lisette Peña. Laura. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Eh, Mirna Yasmín Portillo. Presente. Oscar An An Otoniel Cruz. Oscar. No está Oscar. Eh, Reina Jael Arevalo. Yes, present. Ok, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Thank you. Eh, Sebast eh, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. No está. Eh, Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Present. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present. Thank you. Okay. So we can see here. Let me see. This. Okay, I'm checking here the attendance list. Mm. And Jorge Francisco Lopez. Any present. Okay, yes, yeah, I was I was checking. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's actually updated. All right, so that's okay. It's it's actually important to like practice, you know, the interaction is very necessary. And we'll be like uh, trying to socialize special agreements because it's important to have a special agreements. And um, your friends, when you greet your friends, do you do you greet friends formal or in an informal way? Cuando saluda alguien lo hace formal o informal? Both. Both. Like, good morning. How are you, my friend? Good to see you. It's like the yeah. most. Yeah, the most common. But here, the, the equivalence is like, what's up? It's, I would say, hey, people in the Salvador say, ¿Qué onda? Escuchado esa, esa palabra, right? Sí. Sí. O sea, nadie que, hola, ¿cómo estás? Un gusto saludarle. In a formal way. So people say, you know, hey, ¿qué onda? Uh, ¿Cómo estás? Only hey, formal. <laughs> es lo más común. Yeah, I know. It's just, like not so common, but anyway. Okay, well, so tomorrow we'll continue working with the following exercises about greetings. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't stop practicing and watch a movie or a series in English, right? So thank you so much and have a beautiful night to all of you guys. Teacher, thank creo you. que le escribieron en el chat que alguien no, no escuchó su nombre. Ah, ya la, ya la agregamos. Ya la agregamos. Sí. sí, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.